أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Praise be to Allah who hath created the heavens and the earth and hath appointed darkness and light yet those who disbelieve ascribe rivals unto their Lord He it is who hath created you from clay and hath decreed a term for you A term is fixed with him yet still ye doubt He is Allah in the heavens and in the earth He knoweth both your secret and your utterance and he knoweth what ye earn Never came there unto them a revelation of the revelations of Allah but they did turn away from it and they denied the truth when it came unto them but they will come unto them the tidings of that which they used to deride See they not how many a generation we destroyed before them whom we had established in the earth more firmly than we have established you and we shed on them abundant showers from the sky and made the rivers flow beneath them yet we destroyed them for their sins and created after them another generation we sent down unto thee muhammad actual writing upon parchment so that they could feel it with their hands those who disbelieve would have said this is not else than mere magic they say why hath not an angel been sent down unto him if we send down an angel then the matter would be judged no further time would be allowed them for reflection had we appointed him an angel we assuredly had made him as a man that he might speak to men and thus obscured for them the truth they now obscure messengers of allah have been derided before thee but that where at they scoffed surrounded such of them as did deride Say unto the disbelievers travel in the land and see the nature of the consequence for the rejecters say unto whom belongeth whatsoever is in the heavens and the earth say unto allah he hath prescribed for himself mercy that he may bring you all together to a day of resurrection whereof there's no doubt those who ruin their own souls will not believe to him belongeth whatsoever resteth in the night and the day he is the hearer the knower say shall i choose for a protecting friend other than allah the originator of the heavens and the earth who feedeth and is never fed say i am ordered to be the first to surrender unto him and be not thou o muhammad of the idolaters say, i fear if i rebel against my lord the retribution of an awful day he from whom such retribution is averted on that day allah hath in truth had mercy on him that will be the signal triumph if allah touch thee with affliction there's none that can relieve therefrom save him and if he touch thee with good fortune there's none that can impair it for he is able to do all things he is the omnipotent over his slaves and he is the wise the knower say o muhammad what thing is of most weight in testimony say Allah is witness between you and me and this Quran hath been inspired in me that I may warn there with you and whomsoever it may reach do ye in sooth bear witness that there are gods beside Allah say I bear no such witness say he is only one god lo I am innocent of that which ye associate with him those unto whom we gave the scripture recognize this revelation as they recognize their sons those who ruin their own souls will not believe who doth greater wrong than he who inventeth a lie against allah or denies his revelations lo the wrongdoers will not be successful on the day we gather them together we shall say unto those who ascribe partners unto allah where are now those partners of your make believe and will they have no contention save that they will say by allah our lord we never were idolaters see how they lie against themselves and how the thing which they devised hath failed them them are some who listen unto thee but we have placed upon their hearts wails lest they should understand and in their ears a deafness if they saw every token they would not believe therein to the point that when they come unto thee to argue with thee the disbelievers say this is not else than fables of the men of old and they forbid men from it and avoid it and they ruin none save themselves though they perceive not if thou couldst see when they are set before the fire and say oh would that we might return 
then would we not deny the revelations of our Lord, but we would be of the believers. Nay, but that hath become clear unto them, which before they used to hide. And if they were sent back, they would return unto that which they are forbidden. Lo, they are liars. And they say, There is naught save our life of the world, and we shall not be raised again. If thou couldst see when they are set before their Lord, he will say, Is not this real? They will say, Ye verily by our Lord. He will say, Taste now the retribution for that ye used to disbelieve. They indeed are losers who deny their meeting with Allah until when the hour cometh on them suddenly, they cry, Alas for us, that we neglected it. They bear upon their backs their burdens. Ah, evil is that which they bear. Naught is the life of the world save a pastime and a sport. Better far is the abode of the hereafter for those who keep their duty to Allah. Have ye then no sense? Know well how they talk grieveth thee, though in truth they deny not thee, Muhammad, but evildoers flout the revelations of Allah. Messengers indeed have been denied before thee, and they were patient under the denial and the persecution till our succor reached them. There is none to alter the decisions of Allah. Already there hath reached thee somewhat of the tidings of the messengers we sent before. And if their aversion is grievous unto thee, then, if thou canst, seek a way down into the earth, or a ladder unto the sky, that thou mayst bring unto them a portent to convince them all. If Allah willed, he could have brought them all together to the guidance. So be not thou among the foolish ones. Only those can accept who hear. As for the dead, Allah will raise them up, then unto him they'll be returned. They say, Why hath no portent been sent down upon him from his Lord? Say, Lo, Allah is able to send down a portent, but most of them know not. There is not an animal in the earth, nor a flying creature flying on two wings, but they are peoples like unto you. We have neglected nothing in the book of our decrees, then unto their Lord they will be gathered. Those who deny our revelations are deaf and dumb in darkness. Whom Allah will, he sendeth astray, and whom he will, he placeth on a straight path. Say, can ye see yourselves if the punishment of Allah come upon you, or the ark come upon you, calling upon other than Allah? Do ye then call for help to any other than Allah? Answer that if ye are truthful. Nay, but unto him ye call, and he removeth that because of which ye call unto him if he will. And ye forget whatever partners ye ascribed unto him. We have sent already unto peoples that were before thee, and we visited them with tribulation and adversity, in order that they might grow humble. If only when our disaster came on them, they had been humble, but their hearts were hardened, and the devil made all that they used to do seem fair unto them. And when they forgot that whereof they had been reminded, we opened unto them the gates of all things till, even as they were rejoicing in that which they were given, we seized them unawares, and lo, they were dumbfounded. So of the people who did wrong, the last remnant was cut off. Praise be to Allah, Lord of the worlds. Say, have ye imagined if Allah should take away your hearing and your sight and seal your hearts, who is the God who could restore it to you save Allah? See how we display the revelations unto them, yet still they turn away. Say, can ye see yourselves if the punishment of Allah come upon you unawares or openly? Would any perish save wrongdoing folk? We send not the messengers save as bearers of good news and warners. Whoso believeth and doth right, there shall no fear come upon them, neither shall they grieve. As for those who deny our revelations, torment will afflict them for that they used to disobey. Say, O Muhammad, to the disbelievers, I say not unto you that I possess the treasures of Allah, nor that I have knowledge of the unseen, and I say not unto you, Lo, I am an angel. I follow only that which is inspired in me. Say, Are the blind man and the seer equal? Will ye not then take thought? On hereby those who fear because they know that they will be gathered unto their Lord, for whom there is no protecting friend, 
no intercessor beside him that they may ward off evil. Tell not those who call upon their Lord at morn and evening, seeking his countenance. Thou art not accountable for them in aught, nor are they accountable for thee in aught, that thou shouldst repel them and be of the wrongdoers. Even so do we try some of them by others, that they say, Are these they whom Allah favoreth among us? Is not Allah best aware of the thanksgivers? And when those who believe in our revelations come unto thee, say, Peace be unto you. Your Lord hath prescribed for himself mercy, that whoso of you doth evil through ignorance, and repenteth afterward thereof, and doth right, for him, lo, Allah is forgiving, merciful. Thus do we expound the revelations that the way of the unrighteous may be manifest. Say, I am forbidden to worship those on whom ye call instead of Allah. Say, I will not follow your desires, for then should I go astray, and I should not be of the rightly guided. Say, I am relying on clear proof from my Lord, while ye deny him. I have not that for which ye are impatient. The decision is for Allah only. He telleth the truth, and he is the best of deciders. Say, if I had that for which ye are impatient, then would the case ere this have been decided between me and you. Allah is best aware of the wrongdoers. And with him are the keys of the invisible. None but he knoweth them, and he knoweth what is in the land and the sea. Not a leaf falleth, but he knoweth it, not a grain amid the darkness of the earth, naught of wet or dry, but it is noted in a clear record. He it is who gathereth you at night, and knoweth that which you commit by the day. Then he raiseth you again to life therein, that the term appointed for you may be accomplished, and afterward unto him is your return. Then he will proclaim unto you what ye used to do. He is the omnipotent over his slaves. He sendeth guardians over you until when death cometh unto one of you. Our messengers receive him, and they neglect not. When are they restored unto Allah their Lord, the just? Surely his is the judgment, and he is the most swift of reckoners. They who delivereth you from the darkness of the land and the sea, ye call upon him humbly and in secret, saying, If we are delivered from this fear, we truly will be of the thankful. Say, Allah delivereth you from this and from all affliction, yet ye attribute partners unto him. Say, he is able to send punishment upon you from above you or from beneath your feet, or to bewilder you with dissension and make you taste the tyranny one of another. See how we display the revelations so that they may understand. My people, O Muhammad, have denied it, though it is the truth. Say, I am not put in charge of you. For every announcement there is a term, and ye will come to know. And when thou seest those who meddle with our revelations, withdraw from them until they meddle with another topic. And if the devil cause thee to forget, sit not after the remembrance with the congregation of wrongdoers. Those who ward off evil are not accountable for them in aught, but the reminder must be given them, that haply they too may ward off evil. Forsake those who take their religion for a pastime and a jest, and whom the life of the world beguileth. Remind mankind hereby, lest a soul be destroyed by what it earneth. It hath beside Allah no friend nor intercessor, and though it offer every compensation, it will not be accepted from it. Those are they who perish by their own deserts. For them is drink of boiling water and a painful doom, because they disbelieved. They shall we cry instead of unto Allah, unto that which neither profiteth us nor hurteth us, and shall we turn back after Allah hath guided us, like one bewildered whom the devils have infatuated in the earth, who hath companions, who invite him to the guidance, saying, Come unto us. Say, Lo, the guidance of Allah is guidance, and we are ordered to surrender to the Lord of the worlds, and to establish worship, and be dutiful to him. He it is unto whom ye will be gathered. He it is who created the heavens and the earth in truth, in the day when he saith, Be, 
it is. His word is the truth and his will be the sovereignty on the day when the trumpet is blown. Knower of the invisible and the visible, he is the wise, the aware. Remember when Abraham said unto his father Azar, Takest thou idols for gods? Lo, I see thee and thy folk in error manifest. Thus did we show Abraham the kingdom of the heavens and the earth, that he might be of those possessing certainty. The night grew dark upon him, he beheld a star. He said, This is my Lord. But when it set, he said, I love not things that set. And when he saw the moon uprising, he exclaimed, This is my Lord. But when it set, he said, Unless my Lord guide me, I surely shall become one of the folk who are astray. And when he saw the sun uprising, he cried, This is my Lord. This is greater. And when it set, he exclaimed, O my people, lo, I am free from all that ye associate with him. So I have turned my face toward him who created the heavens and the earth, as one by nature upright, and I am not of the idolaters. People argued with him. He said, Dispute ye with me concerning Allah when he hath guided me? I fear not at all that which ye set beside him, unless my Lord willeth. My Lord includeth all things in his knowledge. Will ye not then remember? How should I fear that which ye set up beside him, when ye fear not to set up beside Allah that for which he hath revealed unto you no warrant? Which of the two factions hath more right to safety? Answer me that, if ye have knowledge. Those who believe and obscure not their belief by wrongdoing, theirs is safety, and they are rightly guided. That is our argument. We gave it unto Abraham against his folk. We raise unto degrees of wisdom whom we will. Lo, thy Lord is wise, aware. And we bestowed upon him Isaac and Jacob. Each of them we guided. And Noah did we guide aforetime. And of his seed we guided David and Solomon and Job and Joseph and Moses and Aaron. Thus do we reward the good. And Zechariah and John and Jesus and Elias. Each one of them was of the righteous and Ishmael, and Elisha, and Jonah, and Lot. Each one of them did we prefer above our creatures. Some of their forefathers, and their offspring, and their brethren, and we chose them, and guided them unto a straight path. Such is the guidance of Allah, wherewith he guideth whom he will of his bondmen. But if they had set up for worship aught beside him, all that they did would have been vain. Those are they unto whom we gave the scripture and command and prophethood. But if these disbelieve therein, then indeed we shall entrust it to a people who will not be disbelievers therein. Those are they whom Allah guideth, so follow their guidance. Say, O Muhammad, unto mankind, I ask of you no fee for it. Lo, it is naught but a reminder to his creatures. And they measure not the power of Allah, its true measure, when they say, Allah hath not revealed unto a human being. Say unto the Jews who speak thus, Who revealed the book which Moses brought, a light and guidance for mankind, that ye have put on parchments which ye show, but ye hide much thereof, and by which ye were taught that which ye knew not yourselves, nor did your fathers know it. Say Allah, then leave them to their play of cavilling. And this is a blessed scripture which we have revealed, confirming that which was revealed before it, that thou mayst warn the mother of villagers and those around her. Those who believe in the hereafter believe herein, and they are careful of their worship. Who is guilty of more wrong than he who forgeth a lie against Allah, or saith, I am inspired when he is not inspired in aught, and who saith, I will reveal the like of that which Allah hath revealed. If thou couldst see when the wrongdoers reach the pangs of death and the angels stretch their hands out, saying, Deliver up your souls. This day ye are awarded doom of degradation, for that ye spake concerning Allah other than the truth, and used to scorn his portents. Now have ye come unto us solitary, as we did create you at the first, and ye have left behind you all that we bestowed upon you, and we behold not with you those your intercessors, of whom ye claim that they possessed a share in you. 
Now is the bond between you severed, and that which ye presumed hath failed you. O oh Allah, it is who splitteth the grain of corn and the date stone for sprouting. He bringeth forth the living from the dead, and is the bringer forth of the dead from the living. Such is Allah. How then are ye perverted? He is the cleaver of the daybreak, and he hath appointed the night for stillness, and the sun and the moon for reckoning. That is the measuring of the mighty, the wise. And he it is who hath set for you the stars that ye may guide your course by them amid the darkness of the land and the sea. We have detailed our revelations for a people who have knowledge. And he it is who hath produced you from a single being and hath given you a habitation and a repository. We have detailed our revelations for a people who have understanding. He it is who sendeth down water from the sky and therewith we bring forth buds of every kind. We bring forth the green blade from which we bring forth the thick clustered grain, and from the date palm, from the pollen thereof, spring pendant bunches, and we bring forth gardens of grapes, and the olive, and the pomegranate, alike and unlike. Look upon the fruit thereof, when they bear fruit, and upon its ripening. Lo, herein verily are portents for a people who believe. They ascribe as partners unto him the jinn, although he did create them and impute falsely without knowledge sons and daughters unto him. Glorified be he and high exalted above all that they ascribe unto him. Originator of the heavens and the earth, how can he have a child when there's for him no consort, when he created all things and is aware of all things? Such is Allah, your Lord. There's no God save Him, the Creator of all things. So worship Him, and He taketh care of all things. Vision comprehendeth Him not, but He comprehendeth all vision. He is the subtile, the aware. Proofs have come unto you from your Lord, so whoso seeth, it is for his own good, and whoso is blind, is blind to his own hurt, and I am not a keeper over you. Thus do we display our revelations that they may say unto thee, Muhammad, thou hast studied, and that we may make it clear for people who have knowledge. Follow that which is inspired in thee from thy Lord. There is no God save him, and turn away from the idolaters. Had Allah willed, they had not been idolatrous. We have not set thee as a keeper over them, nor art thou responsible for them. Revile not those unto whom they pray beside Allah, lest they wrongfully revile Allah through ignorance. Thus unto every nation have we made their deeds seem fair. Then unto their Lord is their return, and he will tell them what they used to do. And they swear a solemn oath by Allah, that if there come unto them a portent, they will believe therein. Say, portents are with Allah, and so is that which telleth you, that if such came unto them, they would not believe. Confound their hearts and their eyes, as they believe not therein at the first, we let them wander blindly on in their contumacy. And though we should send down the angels unto them, and the dead should speak unto them, and we should gather against them all things in array, they would not believe unless Allah so willed. Howbeit most of them are ignorant. Thus have we appointed unto every prophet an adversary, Devils of humankind and jinn who inspire in one another plausible discourse through guile. If thy Lord willed, they would not do so, so leave them alone with their devising. And the hearts of those who believe not in the hereafter may incline thereto, and that they may take pleasure therein, and that they may earn what they are earning. Shall I seek other than Allah for judge, when he it is who hath revealed unto you the scripture fully explained? Those unto whom we gave the scripture aforetime know that it is revealed from thy Lord in truth. So be not thou, O Muhammad, of the waverers. Perfected is the word of thy Lord in truth and justice. There is naught that can change his words. He is the hearer, the knower. If thou obeyedst most of those on earth, they would mislead thee far from Allah's way. They follow naught but an opinion, and they do but guess. O thy Lord, he knoweth best who erreth from his way, and he knoweth best who are the rightly guided. Eat of that over which the name of Allah hath been mentioned, if ye are believers in his revelations.
How should ye not eat of that over which the name of Allah hath been mentioned, when he hath explained unto you that which is forbidden unto you, unless ye are compelled thereto? But lo, many are led astray by their own lusts through ignorance. Lo, thy Lord, he is best aware of the transgressors. Forsake the outwardness of sin and the inwardness thereof. Lo, those who garner sin will be awarded that which they have earned. And eat not of that whereon Allah's name hath not been mentioned, for lo, it is abomination. Lo, the devils do inspire their minions to dispute with you, but if ye obey them, ye will be in truth as idolaters. Is he who was dead, and we have raised him unto life, and set for him a light, wherein he walketh among men, as him whose similitude is in utter darkness whence he cannot emerge? Thus is their conduct made fair-seeming for the disbelievers. And thus have we made in every city great ones of its wicked ones, that they should plot therein. They do but plot against themselves, though they perceive not. And when a token cometh unto them, they say, We will not believe till we are given that which Allah's messengers are given. Allah knoweth best with whom to place his message. Humiliation from Allah and heavy punishment will smite the guilty for their scheming. And whomsoever it is Allah's will to guide, he expanded his bosom unto the surrender. And whomsoever it is his will to send astray, he maketh his bosom close and narrow as if he were engaged in sheer ascent. Thus Allah layeth ignominy upon those who believe not. This is the path of thy Lord, a straight path. We have detailed our revelations for a people who take heed. Them is the abode of peace with their Lord. He will be their protecting friend because of what they used to do. In the day when he will gather them together, he will say, O ye assembly of the jinn, many of humankind did ye seduce. And their adherents among humankind will say, Our Lord, we enjoyed one another, but now we have arrived at the appointed term which thou appointedst for us. He will say, Fire is your home, abide therein forever, save him whom Allah willeth to deliver. Lo, thy Lord is wise, aware. Thus we let some of the wrongdoers have power over others because of what they are wont to earn. O ye assembly of the jinn and humankind, came there not unto you messengers of your own who recounted unto you my tokens and warned you of the meeting of this your day? They will say, We testify against ourselves, and the life of the world beguile them, and they testify against themselves that they were disbelievers. This is because thy Lord destroyeth not the townships arbitrarily while their people are unconscious of the wrong they do. All there will be ranks from what they did. Thy Lord is not unaware of what they do. Thy Lord is the Absolute, the Lord of Mercy. If He will, He can remove you and can cause what He will to follow after you, even as He raised you from the seed of other folk. Lo, that which ye are promised will surely come to pass, and ye cannot escape. Say, O Muhammad, O my people, work according to your power. Lo, I too am working. Thus ye will come to know for which of us will be the happy sequel. Lo, the wrongdoers will not be successful. They assign unto Allah of the crops and cattle which he created a portion, and they say, This is Allah's, in their make-believe. And this is for his partners in regard to us. Thus that which they assign unto his partners in them reacheth not Allah, and that which they assign unto Allah goeth to their so-called partners. Evil is their ordinance. Thus have their so-called partners of Allah made the killing of their children to seem fair unto many of the idolaters, that they may ruin them and make their faith obscure for them. Had Allah willed it otherwise, they had not done so. So leave them alone with their devices. And they say, such cattle and crops are forbidden. No one is to eat of them save whom we will, in their make-believe cattle whose backs are forbidden, cattle over which they mention not the name of Allah. All that is a lie against him. He will repay them for that which they invent. And they say, that which is in the bellies of such cattle is reserved for our males and is forbidden to our wives. But if it be born dead, 
than they all may be partakers thereof. He will reward them for their attribution of such ordinances unto him. Lo, he is wise, aware. They are losers who besottedly have slain their children without knowledge and have forbidden that which Allah bestowed upon them, inventing a lie against Allah. They indeed have gone astray and are not guided. He it is who produceth gardens trellised and untrellised, and the date palm, and crops of diverse flavour, and the olive, and the pomegranate, like and unlike. Eat ye of the fruit thereof when it fruiteth, and pay the dew thereof upon the harvest day, and be not prodigal. Lo, Allah loveth not the prodigals. And of the cattle he produceth some for burden, some for food. Eat of that which Allah hath bestowed upon you, and follow not the footsteps of the devil, for lo, he is an open foe to you. Eight pairs of the sheep twain, and of the goats twain, say, Hath he forbidden the two males, or the two females, or that which the wombs of the two females contain? Expound to me the case with knowledge, if ye are truthful. And of the camels twain, and of the oxen twain, say, Hath he forbidden the two males, or the two females, or that which the wombs of the two females contain? Or were ye by to witness when Allah commanded you all this? Then who doth greater wrong than he who deviseth a lie concerning Allah, that he may lead mankind astray without knowledge? Lo, Allah guideth not wrongdoing folk. Nay, I find not in that which is revealed unto me aught prohibited to an eater, that he eat thereof except it be carrion, or blood poured forth, or swine flesh, for that verily is foul, or the abomination which was immolated to the name of other than Allah. But whoso is compelled thereto, neither craving nor transgressing, for him, lo, thy Lord is forgiving, merciful. And to those who are Jews we forbade every animal with claws, and of the oxen and the sheep forbade we unto them the fat thereof, save that upon the backs or the entrails, or that which is mixed with the bone, that we awarded them for their rebellion, and lo, we verily are truthful. So if they give the lie to thee, Muhammad, say, Your Lord is a Lord of all-embracing mercy, but his wrath will never be withdrawn from guilty folk. They who are idolaters will say, Had Allah willed, we had not ascribed unto him partners, neither had our fathers, nor had we forbidden aught. Thus did those who were before them give the lie to Allah's messengers, till they tasted of the fear of us. Say, Have ye any knowledge that ye can adduce for us? Lo, ye follow naught but an opinion, lo, ye do but guess. Say, For Allah's is the final argument. Had he willed, he could indeed have guided all of you. Say, Come, bring your witnesses who can bear witness that Allah forbade all this. And if they bear witness, do not thou bear witness with them. Follow thou not the whims of those who deny our revelations, those who believe not in the hereafter, and deem others equal with their Lord. Say, Come, I will recite unto you that which your Lord hath made a sacred duty for you, that ye ascribe nothing as partner unto him, and that ye do good to parents, and that ye slay not your children because of penury, we provide for you and for them, and that you draw not nigh to lewd things, whether open or concealed, and that ye slay not the life which Allah hath made sacred, save in the cause of justice. This he hath commanded you in order that ye may discern. And approach not the wealth of the orphan, save with that which is better till he reach maturity. Give full measure and full weight in justice. We task not any soul beyond its scope. And if ye give your word, do justice thereunto, even though it be against a kinsman, and fulfill the covenant of Allah. This he commandeth you, that haply ye may remember. And he commandeth you, saying, This is my straight path, so follow it. Follow not other ways, lest ye be parted from his way. This hath he ordained for you, that ye may ward off evil. Again, we gave the scripture unto Moses, complete for him who would do good, an explanation of all things, a guidance and a mercy, that they might believe in the meeting with their Lord. And this is a blessed scripture, 
which we have revealed, so follow it and ward off evil, that ye may find mercy. Lest ye should say, the scripture was revealed only to two sects before us, and we in sooth were unaware of what they read. Or lest ye should say, if the scripture had been revealed unto us, we surely had been better guided than are they. Now had there come unto you a clear proof from your Lord, a guidance and a mercy, and who doth greater wrong than he who denieth the revelations of Allah, and turneth away from them? We award unto those who turn away from our revelations an evil doom because of their aversion. Wait they indeed for nothing less than that the angels should come unto them, or thy Lord should come, or there should come one of the portents from thy Lord? On the day when one of the portents from thy Lord cometh, its belief availeth not a soul which theretofore believed not, nor in its belief earned good by works. Say, wait ye, lo, we too are waiting. Lo, as for those who sunder their religion and become schismatics, no concern at all hast thou with them. Their case will go to Allah, who then will tell them what they used to do. Whoso bringeth a good deed will receive tenfold the like thereof, while whoso bringeth an ill deed will be awarded but the like thereof, and they will not be wronged. A, lo, as for me, my Lord hath guided me unto a straight path, a right religion, the community of Abraham, the upright, who was no idolater. A, lo, my worship and my sacrifice and my living and my dying are for Allah, Lord of the worlds. He hath no partner. This am I commanded, and I am first of those who surrender unto him. Say, shall I seek another than Allah for Lord, when he is Lord of all things? Each soul earneth only on its own account, nor doth any laden bear another's load. Then unto your Lord is your return, and he will tell you that wherein ye deferred. He it is who hath placed you as viceroys of the earth, and hath exalted some of you in rank above others, that he may try you by the test of that which he hath given you. Lo, thy Lord is swift in prosecution, and lo, he is forgiving, merciful.